हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विद द सिक्स चैप्टर एडाप्टिव फिल्टर्स लर्निंग द सब्जेक्ट एडवांस डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग सो फॉर द एडाप्टिव फिल्टर्स वी हैव बेसिकली द टू पार्ट्स आफ्टर इंट्रोडक्शन टू द एडाप्टिव फिल्टरिंग सिस्टम आइडेंटिफिकेशन वन इज द डिजाइन ऑफ फाइनाइट इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स टाइप ऑफ द एडोप्टिव फिल्टर्स एंड देन द डिजाइन ऑफ आई आई आर स्टैंडिंग फॉर इनफाइनाइट इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स एडोप्टिव फिल्टर्स or you can say the categorization in the non recursive and the recursive types of the adaptive filters so for the fir filter designing in the adaptive nature we have seen the steepest descent algorithm and then the very popular lms algorithm the two applications of the noise cancellation and that of the channel equalization also we have covered and in the previous video we started with the ir filter design that is the topic it was adaptive recursive filter so with respect to this recursive type here we are going to introduce a new domain which will have the outcome of few of the limitations that lms algorithm has observed while applied to this particular field here that is why we have the topic a recursive least squares algorithm so let us begin to see what are the details of this particular algorithm which is more practical and useful for the design of the ir or recursive type of the adaptive filters so let us start with the topic so here we can start with our topic that is titled recursive least squares algorithm here now whatever the topics we have covered so far either it is for the design of the finite impulse response filter or the infinite impulse response filter we had a consideration of the gradient descent algorithm many of the times and it was the algorithm for the minimization of the mean square error the mean square error here it was denoted by psi of n here that is actually the expected value of mod square of e of n here while utilizing this particular methodology for a minimization of this mean square error the requirement is that there should be a knowledge of the statistical matrix that is for example the autocorrelation of the input process that we can denote as the expected value of x of n multiplied to the complex conjugate of x of n minus k the another statistical matrix which is also required to be known that it is cross correlation between the input and the desired output here symbolically or mathematically we denote as the expected value of d of n multiplied to the complex conjugate of x of n minus k so practically if the information regarding this autocorrelation of the input and the cross correlation of the desired output if it is unknown so that time we have only the alternative to have estimation of these two statistic terms from the available data now if we choose the lms adaptive filter structure so for example these two ensemble matrix or the ensemble averages we can say are estimated using the instantaneous values we denote it as capital e cap of e of n multiplied to the complex conjugate of n minus k equal to the error signal e of n multiplied to the complex conjugate of x of n minus k here so this particular approach may fit few of the applications but in the rest of the other applications the gradient estimate may not provide the sufficient rapid rate of convergence or the sufficient small excess mean square error so therefore we have to find alternative way and that is with the consideration of the error measures that do not include all such type of the expected or the expectation matrix here and that may be computed directly from the available data so for example we have the computation of the least squares error denoted by this greek symbol 
this is uh, epsilon of n you can call this is equal to the summation i is equal to 0 to small n for the mod square of e of i so this particular least square error that we are going to focus in the next topic as well will require no statistical information about the input signal x of n or the desired signal d of n and it can be computed it can be evaluated directly from the x of n and that of the d of n here now in addition to the mean square error here we have introduction to the least squares error so as we had the task of minimizing the mean square error and now the minimization of this least square error we have to note down the two points here the first one when we are dealing with the minimization of the mean square error it will produce the same set of filter coefficients for all the sequences that have the same statistics so therefore the coefficients are not depending on the incoming data only on their ensemble average they are depending and now with the introduction to the new error that we have denoted here epsilon of n so that is the least square error while minimizing this the dependency will explicitly will be on the specific values of the desired signal d of n and the input signal x of n here and for the different signals we get different filters here and finally the filter coefficients that minimize the least square error will be optimal for the given data rather than statistically optimal over the particular class of the process here so therefore with the introduction to this particular error here what we call the least squares error we are going to start a discussion on to the recursive least square algorithm the exponential form the exponentially weighted rls algorithm that we are going to address which is most practical and popular in the field of the adaptive filters here so here i just conclude the discussion on to the list uh, recursive least squares algorithm and will begin to address the exponentially weighted rls in the next video thank you